here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 One night, Moomin was having a dream. What a wonderful feeling to be flying like this. Look over there, Moomin. What a beautiful lake. This is one of the most fantastic experiences I've ever had. Me too. I never knew birds had such a marvelous life. Seeing things from a completely different point of view. We're flying pretty high, aren't we? I'm scared. We're much too high. Let's go down, please. Let's go down at once. I'm not scared of heights. Oh, Snort, this time you really have succeeded. Well, I could build hundreds of these if you wanted me to. Snort, can I steer just for a little while? No, you can't. Huh? Oh, Stinky, do you really know how to steer this thing? <laughs> That's dangerous! <laughs> this is okay, really. It's just a dream. I'm all right. Gosh, my head hurts so. What a strange dream. Why would my brother let Stinky steer his flying ship? Surely not. I was talking to the snork, and while I looked away, suddenly Stinky took his place. Oh, and then the thing began tilting? Hmm, but it was just a dream. I don't care. I don't like it. You shouldn't have dreams like that just when my brother's flying ship is almost ready. Dreams often come true, you know. But it was nothing like the ship your brother's building. It was totally different. But tell me what happened to it in the end. Did it fall down? I don't know. I lost sight of it when I fell off and I didn't see it again. Well, surely you could have turned your head to take a look. Well, I didn't. Listen, Moomin, don't say a word to the snork about this. He's nervous enough as it is. Of course not. Why don't we just forget about it? Pretend it never happened, eh? <laughs> Oh, Snork, it's finally completed. Sure it is, but it hasn't been flown yet, of course. But it will fly, won't it, Snork? You don't think there's anything wrong with it? Of course not, but it's just... Is there some problem, Snork? Well, there might be. So, what is it? Fuel. Fuel? But you said you had developed a new fuel that was really good. It's good, but you see, you see, it might not be powerful enough. You mean it might not be able to fly? No, it won't. You're quite right. Oh, it will just be an ordinary ship, not a flying ship. Oh, that would be nice. What can't go up can't possibly fall down. But that's not the point. If it won't fly, everyone will laugh at me. I know they will. I won't laugh, I promise. Maybe not. Others will. But you wouldn't care about that, would you? Who cares what other people think? The thing is, I've already told people that the test flight will be quite soon, in public. But I'm sure people will be very nice about it, even if it doesn't get off the ground. That's hardly what I want. Moomin, I'd like to ask you a favor. That's why I sent for you. Will you help me? I'll do anything you ask, Snork, of course. What I would like is for you, Moomin, my friend, to be test pilot for me tomorrow. You want me to be a pilot? Listen, Steve. 
Binky, I'm gonna steer that ship. Is that perfectly clear? You're not to touch the wheel. I'm the pilot now. What on earth was that about? Wouldn't you find it difficult to steer it? Oh no, it's real easy. But of course, I'd need to practice before the public demonstration. Is the snork going to fly his own ship? He'll be there, but he has to stay down in the engine room, Snuffkin. I wonder if this ship will really fly. The only problem is the fuel. Only the fuel, you say? That's a big problem. I suppose so. Now listen, Moomin. Suppose now the Snork's flying ship really gets off the ground. Well, of course it's going to, Papa. But something could happen. Something could break, or you could fall into an air pocket. It's such a dangerous undertaking. Think, Moomin. Papa! Now listen, it's not natural for Moomins to fly about up in the air. Is it, Snufkin? Quite right. What would you and the Snork do if things went wrong? We will be wearing parachutes, you know. Parachutes? You do know what they are, don't you, Papa? Of course I do. They come down from the sky like this, uh, like this. Uh, exactly. But of course we won't need a parachute, because nothing will go wrong. And I will be the first flying ship pilot ever. <laughs> oh. Hi there. Hello, my young man. Hello. How do you do? How do you do, everybody? Hello there. Hello, sir. I wonder if you can help me. Do you happen to know where the Snorks factory is? Eh? You mean the shed? I must see him. I'm most eager to have a look at his famous flying ship. How do you know about that? It's supposed to be very secret. The information must have leaked out somehow. Oh, well, all inventors know about what he is trying to do. He's famous throughout Moomin Valley, this Snork. Really? Are you an inventor too? Indeed I am. One of the more famous. I think maybe the most famous of them all. I am Moomin Papa. How do you do, sir? I'm Snufkin. And my name is Moomin. Pleased to meet you. A very good day to you, one and all. The Muffle's my name. I said I'm the Muffle. Mm hmm? You mean you've never even heard of me, the most famous inventor? Oh, yes, I'm sure I have. The Muffle, isn't it? Yes, that's it, the Muffle. Have you invented anything exciting, Muffle, Mr. Muffle? Ah, it would be much easier to tell you what I haven't invented, young man. For instance, the pin that can't prick because it has two heads, the newspaper that reads itself, the purse that moans and groans if you take money from it, the adhesive tape that sticks only to itself. This is perhaps the greatest of all my latest inventions. <laughs> Whatever is that? This is proper self, a man-powered fan. Invaluable in muddy weather. All these are my latest inventions. You didn't know that, did you? No, no we didn't. didn't. The triangular handkerchief, the square balloon, the five-wheel car, the hexagonal frying pan, the seven-hole button, and a host of others. Indeed, how interesting. Uh, what did you want to see the snork about? I thought I might be able to help him out with one of my inventions, that's what. Oh dear, which one? My new? No, it's very top-secret stuff, I can't tell you. Now, where is the snork's factory? I'll take you right there. Very kind of you. Come, he'll be so surprised. Must be off. See you again. It's a pleasure to help these budding inventors. Snork will be so excited. Mm, a famous inventor, eh? What is your opinion, Snufkin? Have you ever seen a triangular handkerchief, Moomin Papa? No, and I don't want to either. I do wonder what he's cooked up for the Snork, though. It is sort of intriguing. Yes, indeed. Moomin will be able to tell us later, I suppose. Yes, but anything could happen before then. Can we wait that long, Snufkin? You're right. Wait for me! I'm coming with you! Oh, I thought we had several guests. But where in the world have they all gone? Hmm? Hmm? 
Mm. Now, where are they off to, I wonder? Oh, look who's coming! What are you doing here? We're just interested. Uh, where are the Muffle and the Snork? The Snork and the Muffle are discussing some top secret project. It's very hush hush. Not a triangular handkerchief, I hope. I don't know, Papa. As I said, it's top secret. Mm -hmm, let's see. Oh, bother. The curtain's in the way, so I can't see a thing. <laughs> So this is the powerful fuel you've developed, is it, Mr. Muffle? Yes, it is. Not as original as my other inventions, I admit. But very useful. Yes, useful. I call it super fuel. Only trouble is my engine has been designed for liquid fuel. No problem at all, young man. If you dissolve this block of fuel in 10 liters of water, your engine will run for at least 10 hours. For 10 whole hours? That's incredible. If you doubt the word of the muffle, then try it out and see for yourself right now. Right now? Better still, I guarantee that if used as it is in a solid state, your engine will run not for 10, but for 100 hours. 100 hours? But that's incredible. You really must be some inventor. Indeed, if what you say is true, it would solve the last problem of my flying ship. Oh. Now that I've looked more closely at the padlock, this door isn't locked. No, it isn't. Hmm. So if one wanted to see the snork, one could walk right in. But why would you want to see him, Papa? Well, uh... Why don't you tell us? I don't want snork falling for one of the Muffle's crazy ideas. That's why. Well, we'll find out pretty soon. Maybe you don't realize it, but the snork is pretty clever, you know. I think I know exactly what they're doing in there. Eh? Yeah, what? I saw that man pouring something into the flying ship. What was it? Well, I guess it must have been fuel, Moomin. Well, how come you saw him? There's a crack that's just about wide enough for me. But I won't tell you where. What are those two in there talking about? Oh, yeah? So this is the great super fuel? Wait a minute, Snork. There must be something wrong with it. Yeah, you hey! are there is. Oh, you how go? unfair you are. Solid fuel indeed, huh? A hundred hours? You're an imposter, sir. No, it isn't true. If you just let me explain. No, thank you. I know very well why you came over here with that ridiculous story. Off with you right now. Listen to me. It is not ridiculous and it is not just a story. Maybe we shouldn't have dissolved it in the water. That was a mistake. Imposter! But I'm the muffle! I don't care! Maybe it's just a misunderstanding and the fuel isn't suited for flying ships. Wrong! It suits everything! Forget the fuel! That was just a trick so we could come here and get to see my flying ship. So, uh, the muffle has come here to spy, you mean? Ridiculous! I don't steal! Papa, was there anything you wanted to see me about? Eh? Eh? No, I just dropped by. Uh, <laughs> no cause for excitement. <laughs> the fuel's a dud. No, it's not. That's not true. I don't invent duds. What would be the point of inventing them? Oh, listen to me, please, and let's try and use the fuel once more, Snort. No thanks. Once was once too many. I'll have to clean my tanks from your guns. Get out of my sight! been a bit of a disappointment for the snork. I know. Now listen, Stinky. I'm doing this for the snork's sake, isn't that so? I don't care who you're doing it for. All I want is to get a good look at the famous flying ship. You'd need something very powerful to get a thing like that off the ground. Something so powerful that only I, the muffle, could ever have invented it. Remind me one day to show you my famous triangular handkerchief. Now, all we have to do is not dissolve the fuel in water, but use the solid fuel. Hurry up with that lock, Stinky, or maybe I should invent a lock pick. Come on, Stinky. Hurry, hurry! There you are, done! Good, come. We don't have much time. Oh, I'm dying to steer this ship. Take her up to 2,000 meters. Yeah! 
Whoa! Oh, Stinky! Stinky! We're flying at a height of just over 2,000 meters now! Stinky! Yeah, I'm listening. What is it? When you hear me say now, that's when I want you to start up the engine immediately. All right, no problem. I guess it must be this one. No, no, not yet. This is it! Just a drop of water on the fuel block. Now, that should do it. Can I start it now? Not yet! All right! Now, start up the engine, Stinky! Aye, aye, sir! Did you really turn on the switch? Yes, I did! The engine won't start. Are you quite sure you turned the one I pointed out to you? I think so. Maybe I turned the wrong one. Uh, I'll try these two as well. Come on, Stinky. This is no joke. My reputation as a famous inventor is at stake. This should do it, I think. Has that worked, Mr. Muffle? Nothing is happening. I knew I shouldn't have let you do it. Better to do it myself. You're useless. Wait, Mr. Muffle. I haven't tried the very last one in the row. This one switch left. What? I better throw that one, too. You never know. It might just do the trick. Not surprised, but I'm so pleased with myself. You should be here, Snort. This is my great moment, and you should be here to share it with me. Come on, I can't wait to try this thing. Incredible! This ship shall rise like a phoenix. Not the most imaginative, but this is one of my better inventions. Ha! 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 Now come to your nice room on the small side, but the very best one. That explosion, it really was most unexpected, officer. Everybody knows you're a great inventor. I wonder if you could help me, Mr. Muffle. But how? Could you think up something to protect my roses while you're staying with us? A, a non-explosive, of course. Of course I could. Piece of cake, officer. Oh, I really did want to fly. Come, come now. Cheer up, Snork, dear. Yes. Here you are, a nice cup of tea. Thanks. Oh. It's very strange, but I had a dream the other night about a flying ship. Did you really, Moomin? That sounds very interesting. Yes, very interesting. Moomin told me about it. Yes, it was a peculiar-looking ship, totally different from your flying ship, Snork. Different? How? Well... It was sort of round, like this. It had a propeller and something hanging underneath. And we flew over a high mountain. Round? Yes. And you were in a sort of thing hanging underneath? Yes. Round. Round, huh? Round. Whatever's the matter, Snork? What? Oh, Mama. Thanks for the tea. I think I'm getting a new idea. 
Moomin, see you later. Papa, I must go. Oh, there he goes again. I know that look, Mama. You won't get an intelligent answer out of him for the next month or so, honestly. I'm very happy for him. I must say that was a very clever dream you had, Moomin. <laughs> I'm a better inventor than the muggle. You deserve a triangular handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> so the explosion didn't distress the snort for long. Soon he was back at his favorite occupation, planning. But planning what? Round. Are having fun day after day The moon